This is my Sharp TV, 22 inch. It has absolutely no power, not even the light will come on. Um, so I'm going to show you how to fix it by replacing the correct diodes uh, on one of the PCB boards. Now this is the make and model of my TV, but um, I think this works for quite a few different models and maybe some of the newer models which have got uh, a new name. First thing you're going to need to do is remove eight screws from around the edges. They've all got arrows pointing to them and they go all the way around. Once you've taken out the eight screws from around the edges, you've just got the two smaller screws here, either side of the scarp plug. So remove those as well. You'll see the arrows, same as the arrows all around the edge. If you've got a bracket attached to your telly where I think the um, stand goes into, you will have to also remove these four screws before you can take this back off. Now we've removed all the screws, we're going to lift off the back from the um, screen. Now it takes a little bit of brute force to pull it off. Generally there's a loose area and then slowly wait, work your way around and they're just, it's literally just clipped in but you have to not be too frightened just to pull it and it will slowly loosen up all the way around. Just be careful not to yank it straight off though because you need to lift it up from the top and you will see that there's a plug in here that you're going to need to just remove, which slides out like that and allows you to lift the back off where you've got two more plugged in down here that you also just slide out, lift up a little clip there and slide it out. I've removed this one and just make sure you don't remove the top bit of it because I can slide out slightly so if you just lift up that top bit you'll feel just slightly lift up and that allows you to remove it a little bit easier just slides off like that and then you can lift off your back completely this is what you end up with there are two boards. The one that you want to replace, which is the power board, these three here. So what we need to do first is unclip this here. And it literally just pulls out. Do that. And then unscrew the four screws. One, two, three, four. Once you've removed the four screws, you need to slide this board out this way. So as you can see, it attaches here. So this was attached and it takes a little bit of pressure to slide it out like that. Now we've removed our board, just as a reminder, these are the diodes that we're going to replace. Now, often with diodes, you can see that they've actually blown because they bulge, but none of these have bulged. Um, so it's not always an indicator. You do have to change all three of them because if one blows, it blows the whole circuit. Just remember which end the grey bits go because they have to go exactly the same way. Now turn your board upside down and remember where the solder is. So these three solders, one, two, three, four, five, six, are what we're going to need to remove to replace those three diodes. So here's my soldering iron. These are my replacement parts and this is what I'm going to use to remove the solder 
you hold it on there, put the soldering iron on it and that will suck up the solder as it melts. Now we've desoldered and removed the diodes, I've set up my new diodes, bent them into there and I've just put a little bit of wood under just so they don't push down when I'm soldering them. Now all the joints are soldered, I'm just going to snip off those long ends and secure it properly, as you can see. This way, you need to make sure that you've got them the right way round so the live ends are grey. Remember, go nearer the brown diode. All snipped off neatened up and we'll start to put the telly back together. We have to remember when we put it in that we're going to be sliding in this way for those teeth. We're going to just slide in. Quite careful, you don't want to damage any of those teeth. Once you've slotted your board back in and connected them up, watching the teeth, pop your four screws back in and just be careful of this wire. Don't trap it under the board. We're going to attach that back in in just a second. The screws are all tightened and I've reattached the wire. Um, we can just start putting the back back on. I'm just holding the backboard here against the screen and you'll see there's two plugs here. And we need to plug these back into our board that we've just fixed first of all and then you'll see that there's another plug on the top of the back here which as we slide it round we need to plug at the top here. Do these two first and then we will slowly pop it down before we do that top one. Once you have those two plugged in, gently bring the back down so that you can plug this top one in. So we plug that top one back in and we can now pop the back down and start screwing up. Now you've got your back back on, replace your eight screws around the edge and your two screws from either side of the scart. That's all eight screws back in and the two scart screws and I'm just going to replace the four screws which go in, um, this is what the stand fits into I believe. And we're going to pop those back in and then we'll be done. Right. All back together, let's plug it in and give it a go. And da da! We have power. A fix that's cost me a couple of pounds, uh, whereas I could have easily chucked a couple of hundred pound TV away. So good luck, let me know if there's anything I can help you with.